What is going on guys? Welcome back. It is Mr. Shino here and we are going to be showing you guys a video today on sticking to your training plan and why that is very important. To start off, I want to show you guys with a little bit about the price action that we saw today. I'm going to cover two topics here. It's going to be when selling at a discount, you can do that and when you can just capitalize on the market when it's ranging. So let's start with EURUSD and a trade that I was anticipating for price to happen today, which is first going to be right here. So you can look at price here we have the bottom and it's understanding that whenever we have levels like this that are very clean you can see that a higher low point that says higher high there's going to be a lot of pending orders here and a lot of retail traders are going to use this as a level of demand where they're going to want to be anticipating for price to continue with but it's trend so what's your normal risk reward here it's going to be looking like this it's going to be looking as a long right here you're going to have a short below and you are going to be targeting the highs right there. It's going to be a normal risk reward for retail traders when they're looking at this range. If you look at price here as an SMC perspective, though, you can discount that and you can now start following structure. If you look here at the five. what we have here. We have lower high point, that says lower low, lower high point, that says lower low. And what does it leave behind right here? Right here. Leaves us off with a pre value gap, which you could definitely be looking to capitalize from and understand that price is going to drop down from here a good 10 or 20 pips. So all you do is put it from here, 10 pips, 20 pips if you'd like to, right there. And all you're doing now is when you do that, you put your short right here, or your long right here, and target the bills right there. That would have been a good six to one. And I was looking to take this trade, but unfortunately, I didn't take it. Um, it wasn't. It stopped me out. It didn't stop me out, so sorry. We just we didn't get triggered in. And then when we didn't get triggered in, we closed the position a little bit too early. So look at you guys right here with my group. We had the trade right there. Here it is. And when price dropped over here, once it dropped like this, I just there to close the positions. And then price does manage to come back up here at roughly 11. It would have triggered us in. I would have dropped down beautifully to our take profit levels. And that's fine. It is what it is. We we'll continue going. So this video is coming to show you guys just updates on what I'm looking at and then get back to the lesson. So now the lesson is sticking to your bias. So today we had another trade that actually did pan out. And for the first one, we were looking to short US 500. And ask yourselves why I was looking to short US 500. Well, let's look at price here. Here we have this gap. And what are gaps considered as SMC traders? They're considered the only true level of dynamic support and resistance. So let's mark it off right there. That means that whenever we are above that, we want to be looking at short. And whenever we are below that, we want, I mean, whenever we are above that, we want to be looking to buy. Whenever we are below that, we want to be looking to short. So what I thought was going to happen today was price going to drop down to these lows right here for this sell side liquidity right here. We just take a look at price option here, right? And you take a look at this M16 time frame. You can see how here we have our Asian lows, London lows, and I was anticipating for London lows to get triggered into it. But unfortunately, we did not get that. And this is where I messed up then, right? Following structure. So what does price do here, right? Looking at the F5 here, this is where I was looking at price. Price here, it makes a higher low point right here that leads to higher high. So we're looking for a confirmation. We want to see is being broken. That's exactly what we got right here. So for this level, you can see how we have a provide gap right there. So let's delete this dynamic level and let's just continue on with structure. You guys get that hint on that, right? So we have this level over here of resistance, dynamic, right here. We just mark it off forward like that, just so you guys can have an idea of it. And we also now have a provide gap right here. And what I wanted to see here with SP was price to come back up to this range and trigger us in and unfortunately it did not do that right it dropped down made the value gap went back up a little bit and missed our entry by 0 0.5 pips it was right that's how much it missed our entry by if you can look right here here it is we're looking at it right there it missed our entry by 0 0.5 pips it went back up and it never triggered us in fortunately that's the things that happen right but if you look at price again now it's understanding back to the last video right we're either following structure or we're looking for an m1 shift so where is right what is happening here we have a structural shift or we have a higher low point that says higher high we have a lower high point that says lower low and we have now a lower high point that says lower low so we can't use this anymore as an entry we need to see a structural shift here and if you look over here the m1 is exactly what we got so look over here at the m1 here what did we get here if you look back over here at the m1 price comes back up to this range it taps into your value gap. It breaks a little bit above that, whatever it hits some orders, it drops down. And then what does it do after that? 
Mixedor hyphen and Israel over there with the nouns broken structure. So right here, we got our structural shift. And this is now sticking to your trading plan, right? I either trade with a trend, which would be following the trend, but I, I wouldn't need a structural shift. I'll just need a M1 shift, which would just be a sense of rejection. I'll take that. Or a pending if it makes sense to me, and I'll take that. Or I need a structural shift whenever I have a POI. I'm waiting for this, right? A higher low penalty says higher high, and then a lower high penalty says lower low. So all I wanted to see here was some rejection, which you got right here, right? Look at this candle, one, two, I got in the trade. And this trade but right here, it did not play out. And that's again, you just stick into your guns and understanding that all the time, SMC or any concept that you trade isn't always gonna play out. All I want to see was price come back right there and drop back down towards this level because we have this small time value gap and we have the order block above. To me, it looked clean for the sell. I want to take that. Let's remove that, right? It's again, the lesson today is sticking to your trading plan. So we can just mark that off a little bit lower. It's a bit too big right there. The body gap. And you can see how, again, for this rally gap, it didn't pan out, right? It just went up higher and it continued going up higher. But then looking at price, continue following price. What do we do above that? Anybody that was able to catch the longs here, SMC goes above it and it triggers them for the lows. But what do we leave above right here? We leave a lot of sell side liquidity. I mean, buy side liquidity at a lot of equal highs, or we could potentially be looking for price triggering, right? A lot of trend liquidity that retail traders are going to be shorting from. And there's going to be pending orders here where you could capitalize from. So if, again, it's sticking to your guns. So look at price what it does here. It gives you this for one. It drops on lower, right? And it takes what? It takes right here. It takes off, again, sell side liquidity. So here we have a purge on stops. And if you're looking at this PM session trend, well, what do we get right here? Look closely. Price dips below, goes up higher. What is this? Lower high point leads to a lower low, a higher low point that has mitigated something. So right here, we already have our first mitigation, right? First mitigation, this rally gap. And right here, what do, guess what we have right here? We have a structural shift. So the same thing that we got right here, we're getting it here, but from the opposite end, still having context of what we're having with all current PA, right? So then look at what happens next. You could do the same thing, right? Press gives you a new provided gap right here with the mitigation, with that sweep, with this order block down here. And all you do is the same thing, right? Put your lungs right here right here targeting either this void that we left behind because this is a void right here this is not an order about this is a void this is a sharp decline look at my last instagram post to see what i mean by that this is a void right here it's not a value gap it's a void so you do not use this as a level for entry use as a level to target from to see if price wants to come back up to that range right so right here you can either use that at the 50 percent you can be targeting all the price liquidity that's above and that would have been a total of five to one but again it's the same concept what is the difference between this level right here? We got the same thing, right? We got a sweep of liquidity right here. We got a shift to market structure. We got a value gap. And here, it didn't play out. And guess what? It doesn't matter. You stick to your guns. What do we get here? We got a sweep of liquidity. We got a mitigation, a fair value gap, and a new entry right here. And then price goes up correctly towards your take profit level. And again, it's sticking to your trading plan. Know what you're looking for. Sometimes, it won't play out, but you stick to it and eventually you'll get that correct bias trend, right? It's important to take note of that. That was basically the other lesson I wanted to show you guys today, which is, you know, today in the morning, I didn't get triggered for one. I went back up to my level. I could not have used an entry after use a POI. It didn't trigger me in. But you guys can see the model right here, right? Sweep, mitigation, what do we mitigate? It's probably got right here. What do we do now? Make a lower low point. What do we have here? Friday got triggered us in, stopped us out. What do we have right here to the right? Same thing, right? Sweep, medication, which is this, medication, medication, goes up higher, fair value gap, which is this value gap, and for this one, trigger is in, and goes all the way to take profit. So it's, sometimes it won't work, but sometimes it will. You just have to figure out a plan that shows you the most probability. And for me, this training plan right here, understanding my M1 shift, my M1 structural shift, understanding structural overall, understand that overall I'm bullish for SP. But for the day, I was looking for the sales of liquidity to get grabbed because of this liquidity that we have below down here. Now we didn't get that, but as soon as we don't get that, and price starts showing us hints that it wants to go higher. What are the hints, right? 
it's not taking the lows. It makes a higher high. It makes a higher low point. It's failing to break these lows. So that's already giving you hints that price is not wanting to drop here. It shows you all these bullish candles breaking above these voids right here, right? So it's giving you enough context for you to understand that price is not wanting to take these lows and these levels are being respected. So once it shows that, again, you can capitalize from the market. Look at structure, M3 is the same thing, right? Drops down lower, Privali cap, triggers you in. Privali cap right here, triggers you in. Privali cap right here, triggers you in. So you're following structure and looking at what price is delivering for you. But M1, it's the cleanest one for me, right? You can see how, again, same thing that we have here. So let's go over it one more time so you guys can understand it. Let's head at it. What do we have here? Stick to your trading plan. We have Privali cap, sweep, right? So Privali cap, we use the POI right here. We have a sweep of liquidity. There was orders here that got stopped out. What is this right here? Lows that were able to profit. What did they do here? They got stopped out. What do we have after that? We have higher low point, higher high. Lower high points, lower low. Higher low point, higher high. We have a price drops down, break structure. We have a mitigation right here, first mitigation. What do we have here? Price was up higher, first mitigation right here. What is price do after that? Lower high point that leads to a lower low. Higher low point that leads to a higher high. And what do we leave behind? Privali gap. What do we leave behind right here? Privali gap. For this one, it didn't play out. For this one, it did. Stick to your training plan, stick to your guns, understand what works, understand what doesn't, and just keep it going, right? Simple as that, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you guys know how it goes, don't ever trade, don't ever leverage, and stay trading. Peace.